All right, we're at it again. This is part two of the ultimate water-cooled RGB PC brought to you by Thermaltake. Thanks to those guys for making this build and video possible. And we're pretty much gonna pick up right where we left off, which is the hardline tubing. We're gonna make some runs today and hopefully finish off the build if everything goes smoothly. I would not want this to turn into a part three or a three part series. So I'm gonna try to wrap things up by the end of this video. I, I'm not the most experienced or, or proficient when it comes to tube bending, so it should be interesting. We'll wrap things up at the end of uh, a nice sexy montage with some closing words and, and sort of talk about my experience the whole way through. Again, just a refresher, we've got a 7900X here, a Core i9 from, from Intel, on the X299 platform along with the GTX 1080 from Oris, and 64 gigs of DDR4 2933 from HyperX. Fully loaded PC we've got here. If you guys are curious at all, I've put links to all this stuff in the description below. Feel free to check that out. But we've got a lot of uh, work ahead of us today. So with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into things, start bending some tubes. So about five-ish hours later, we have ourselves a fully functional water-cooled RGB PC, and it looks pretty glorious, in my opinion. RGB isn't for everyone, of course, but I think it looks really good, especially with all the Thermaltake RGB elements. Uh, you know, we're, we're kind of dealing with the same ecosystem there of hardware, so it all meshes together perfectly, as you might expect. I also am pretty proud of some of these runs. Okay, they're, they're not my best runs, I'll admit that, but this long one in particular, uh, I was expecting to have to pull out some of those 90, uh, 90 degree fittings, the, the connectors, just to make it easier on me, but I managed to get all four uh, bends in there on the second try. And you know, okay, maybe this isn't like perfectly straight if you pulled out a protractor or something, but you know, for, for a semi water cooling noob like myself, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Building inside of this case, the level 20 is an absolute dream if you're a custom water cooler. There's plenty of room for activities. I never felt cramped or uh, pressed for cable management room at all. It is a very massive case, and I guess that is sort of the trade-off there. You're gonna have to find a place to put it, um, but overall, it's uh, it's been a dream to build in. Couple last things to note here. Uh, there is a bit of soft tubing in this build. We have an impasta on our hands. As I mentioned in part one, uh, I was gonna use some soft tubing for the run between the pump res to the inlet of the graphics card. The, the, the uh, tubing actually just kind of hugs the floor of the chassis all the way down, so it, it doesn't really stand out. It's not very visible unless you're really looking for it, which is kind of the point. Um, but again, I just kind of used soft tubing there to, to make my life a bit easier. And finally, you might have noticed that the reservoir isn't fully topped off. It was when I initially filled the loop, and then you know after a few minutes of running, it, the, the liquid starts to fill up all the air gaps inside of the loop, and the water level goes down a bit. Um, if it were my own personal system, of course, I'd top that off, but uh, 
As for now, I, I rather like the soothing sounds of, of water dripping into a into a reservoir. Um, but that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. Huge thanks again to Thermal Take for making this build possible. You can find links once again to all this stuff in the description below. Thank you for watching. Toss a like on it if you enjoyed it and get subscribed for more tech stuff right around the corner. You can also check me out on Floatplane if you want to watch my videos a whole week early without ads for three bucks a month. I'll put a link for that in the video description. Till next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one and I'll see y'all in the next video.